<laughs> I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. If you're new to this channel, please keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so hopefully maybe YouTube will notify you but when we post new videos. So today we're going to share to you our experiences on how to open a US dollar banking account that's savings, not checking. Here savings. in the Philippines. So what bank are we uh, opening? That we looked at the different banks and we decided to go with BPI for a few reasons that none of them are really th that terribly greater reasons that we just went with BPI. So we look video, kind of explore Metro Bank and other PNB and so we find out that BPI has lower service charge. Yeah, because uh, one of them wanted like $35 per check to per be deposited. Check for a month. And yes, so it was a horrible experience. Oh. Uh, we actually looked at the BPI in Car Car. Yeah. And they gave us a lot of missing your and, and it was horribly different than what the, the information that, that BPI online has. And, and so that was a confusion and, and we wound up not opening one down there, which in the end probably is just as well. That one thing we did find out, uh, if you go, if you want to do any kind of changing to the account, any kind of adding a name, anything, anything like that, you have to go back to the branch where you opened it. So, what are their requirements? So that our viewers and subscribers knows, if you are like planning to move here in the U in the Philippines, or if you are just planning to open a bank account here in the Philippines for future use, so. What are our requirements needed? That all we needed was uh, the American passports. Yes. That I had my ACR card and you had a secondary ID. I have uh, American passport. Uh, in, in your Philippines passport. Philippine passport and the driver license. The Arizona driver's license. The Arizona driver license. Uh, this was before we got our our Philippines driver's license. Yeah. And that I, yeah, you I got had my your driver's American well. passport, then you have the the uh, ACR, uh, ACR card. ACR card. Because so you need to prove that you're to, uh, you need to prove that you're going to be here in the Philippines, and that you have a reason for opening the account in the Philippines. Yeah, and then uh, we have our billing proof of billing, which is I always bring it with me, Papa's. <laughs> water bill so i always make sure to uh go uh to have it with me because when we have um you know when we try to open a bank account on a different two they have totally different <sighs> yeah because our address on the bank account is from papa's place in sabunga we choose to just everything what we are doing right now is just stick to mama's address because it's just easy. It's easy to find. It's just well, easy at that to point in time, at that point in time, we were still looking to uh, travel for a couple of years. We weren't looking to, to necessarily settle <laughs> down, and it was going to be really good to have Mama and Papa's address. Yeah. So yeah. So you you need some kind of permanent proof. address. Yeah, proof of billing. So that's the one thing, and um, they need one by one picture. Yeah, that they, Which they we already wanted have photographs. That we, fortunately, we had a... Already that taken care of because we have... Whenever we get like passport photos or something like that, we'll normally get extras just so that when stuff like this comes up that we've got them handy. Yes, and the other one, since we are joint account, they need a marriage certificate. Yes, that they, they actually wanted a marriage certificate. And they... they they were specific. They wanted a Philippines marriage to be, right? Yes. Yeah. So we have the Philippines Statistic Office marriage certificate. Um, we have our ID, two valid IDs, the American, the Philippine passport, the Air ECR, my uh, driver license, and then our one by one picture, each of us, and a proof of billing. And that's actually it. Four. Yeah, because we needed to establish that there was a reason why we were opening a US dollar account. 
in the Philippines. And yeah. so that they, they wanted evidence that we were both in from had ties to the US. Yeah. And had income source from the US. Yeah. So uh, and, they and then, give us like a dot a form to fill out and I filled it out and then we joined account and that's actually it. So Yeah, you accomplished the form. <laughs> Accomplished, okay. I guess <laughs> they put or joined the count, but it's so weird they put me as a primary. <laughs> yeah, it's a joint account, but here last week, two weeks, last week, three weeks ago, that you that I, I logged in online to, to see what was going on, <laughs> and everything's under her name. Uh, that, that she's the primary account holder, but it's a joint account, right? <laughs> so, it, anyways, uh, but it's an um and is an on or or it's an and yes oh that was your excuse about that you'll have to excuse me i am sorry about that that uh as you can see we're in the bed and somebody hasn't been feeling terribly well lately and uh sleep has been interesting so yeah so um, we're both a little on the tired side so um our overall experience is kind of well that was that was one thing that we we ran into is uh yeah share she, that. she mentioned and and that they offered it and i'd never had it offered at a uh, bank before whether it was uh you wanted it at cindy and john or cindy or john, or john. and so we decided to go with the or, or. Just so that, that way either one of us by ourselves could uh, you know could Go. deposit or withdraw or do anything uh, because if we would have done and both of us would have needed need, needed to have been present at, at every transaction and yeah what if like for me for my case like you know, I, my pregnancy and if I get to the hospital or something and John so it's it just a lot it's it's need it's good that it's just an or because either one of yeah because well we were looking at that it at at that point in time what was you know that it's not going to be too long you know that it's going to be i i'm going to be getting older and it's going to be harder for me to get out at times and yeah it would just way simpler and easier yeah the other thing that happened that, that frustrated us both now, now, like I say, we'd looked into this, we'd researched online, and that they said that there was a uh, an account. Yeah. And so whenever I opened a bank account in the U.S., you know, hey, I want to open a checking account, and, and they just go take you through. And I can't remember a time when a bank account really didn't come with a checking account yeah. as part of the, the bank account. Uh... So there's a confusion. I, I kind of faintly remember when I was a kid that they, they used to do that. But here in the Philippines, that's not the case. The, every account uh, to, to this point, if you want a checking account, that's one account. If you want a savings account, that's a separate account. That's a different account. If you want an ATM account, that's, that's a, a different account. account. So passbook, passbook here is different. If you want to have another... ATM account that you could withdraw then you need to open again and again and different requirements and yada 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 So when we went in we asked to open a US dollar checking account And they, and they said no we're not allowed That they don't open it. They don't have a US dollar checking account And I said wait a second. We, we, we looked online and, and the lady got no we don't have a US dollar checking account and uh, about this time, Cindy was getting a little ir irritated with it. Y y yes, you do. You know, the, and, and we were getting ready to start pull up websites and everything. And, and fortunately, uh, we got pawned off to a manager. And, and the manager related it as we don't have a U.S. dollar checking account, but we, have but we only have U.S. dollar savings account. And, and that, oh, okay. <laughs> And that's when we found out that, that they had everything was separate. And I, I don't know if any of the other banks would have had a U.S. dollar checking account. But bottom line, you're never going to write a U.S. dollar check here in Philippines yeah. anyhow. So I, I guess it does make sense that they don't have them. But when we got told no, that they didn't have, have it in the way we got told... 
both of us understood it is they didn't have a US dollar account. Yeah. So be careful on your wording when you go in there. Uh, it was kind of like the joke that I, you know, the teasing her about it. You accomplished the form. You don't, here in the Philippines, you don't fill out forms, you accomplish forms. Fill in the forms. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> or fill uh, out the forms. You need to fill out the forms. Yeah, you need to fill out the forms, but here that they say you, after you've accomplished the form. Yeah, I, I totally, I'm, I'm super proud of your observation, so, thank you. <laughs> There's just a lot of ways that they word things a little bit different here, and it can sometimes cause a little frustration and confusion if you're not ready to deal with it. Yeah. But uh, the other issue that we're, we're clarity, in the process clarity. of is and we were kind of hoping to hold off on making this video, but uh, we just wanted to get it out there anyhow. And So you have an idea, or at least in the future. But we opened the account February... 22nd. February 22nd. And it's already been a month. The The check cleared on the March... March, just, March 3rd or something like that? Did yeah, that cleared? the 4th, 5th, something. Uh, about two weeks, three weeks after we deposited it. But the funds are still not available in the bank, and that that was part of the reason why we put the uh, why we op opened the or why we uh, logged into the website it is to see what was going on, and because my bank the our bank back in Phoenix that it cleared it uh, a couple weeks ago, yeah. and actually Monday you got a call from them saying that it wasn't available yet. Yesterday, actually, because I told them I was expecting a call from Monday, but some, he did not call me. And now they said that, oh, it's just an estimate, mom, of 30 days. But So your fund should be available on the 30 to 31st of March. And I said, oh, okay. And yeah. And I said, well, what's the reason of that? I'm like, oh, it's just an estimate. So you don't have an exact reason? You said 30 days. So anyways, I just don't want to argue with that, and I don't want to fight about that, and it's just not worth it, you know, the and stress and everything. And the other thing is there, there's a $5 check deposit fee, too. Yeah. Uh, th this is a little bit more complicated than we expected it to be, uh, but getting U.S. dollar over here and making the exchange over here is a better enough exchange rate that, that we're we, we need to figure out a, a better plan to get US dollars here uh, people have recommended Charles Schwab accounts and that seems to be a real popular option and at this point I think I might start looking a little bit more into that but but there's some drawbacks in doing that too so and I, I don't know but at this point, the, the U.S. dollar bank account seems to be the best option for us. Yes. So is there anything else you want to make comment of? No. Uh, it, it, in the comment section, I will pin a comment when the, the funds finally do clear to let you know how long it actually took. But it, it's, it's an interesting process. Yeah. So that's that's it. And that's basically all you do. It, it's not terribly hard to do it. We did it in an afternoon. Yep. So thank you. Mabuhai. Ma